Hello. At least nine people have been killed after a massive eruption of Mount St. Helens volcano in Washington State, USA. The volcano occurred at 8.32 this morning and is reported to be one of the biggest natural disasters to hit the USA. A huge cloud of ash has turned day into night for many cities and towns across northwestern America. People have been told to stay indoors, trains have been halted, roads have been closed and airlines have been grounded. And now over to Emily Williams who is at the scene. Thank you, Roya. Well, I'm here live in Washington State where the disastrous events of this morning have just begun to sink in with the local residents. Four hours ago, the north face of the mountain collapsed in a massive avalanche after the volcano triggered a violent earthquake measuring 5.2 on the Richter scale. At the same time, a big, billowing cloud of ash rose 15 miles into the air in just a quarter of an hour. This was then followed by a rush of hot ash, humus and an assortment of gases pouring out of the crater. Blue skies have turned grey with debris all over the USA and almost 150 square miles of forest have been destroyed along with thousands of wild animals. Earlier, I spoke to some of the locals, and this is what they had to say. The whole top of the north side just began to um, uh, ripple and kind of uh, churn up, and everything to the north of that just slid away, just completely slid away. Incredible. I couldn't believe it. Um, it was scary. You know, you couldn't see in front of you, and, and you started breathing and stuff, and of course had no idea whether or not it was poison. We weren't sure that we were going to make it out of that situation at all. <laughs> never seen anything like it ever. <laughs> I don't know. I tell you, I never want to see it again. Officials say that this eruption has already spewed almost as much ash and rock as Vesuvius, and although the death rate is as yet unknown, it is believed that over 50 people may have lost their lives in this tragedy. This is Emily Williams, reporting for BBC News. Back to you. Thank you, Emily. Now let's go over to our expert who will tell us a little bit more about volcanoes and how they occur. Erupting volcanoes are some of the most terrifying and awesome sights in nature. Volcanoes form when magma reaches the surface, causing eruptions of lava and ash. As you can see here, volcanic eruptions have devastating effects on people and the environment. However, unlike earthquakes, volcanoes can also have a positive impact in the area. Tourists can bring more income into the area and fertile soil is produced after a volcano. Now back to you in the studio. Now let's go to our pre-recorded interview with Geraldine, a 48-year-old woman caught up in the volcano. Hi Geraldine, what were you doing during the eruption? Well. I was watching my TV and then the floor started shaking and then the TV was shaking and everything was shaking so I stood up and I looked out the window and I just saw a massive sort of cloud of smoke, grey smoke and I just, I didn't know what to do, I was so shocked. How did it feel? I just felt so terrified and shocked, you know, I've never experienced anything like that in my life before and I just felt so scared. Thank you for taking your time out to speak to us. Thank you. Thank you, Geraldine. For more top stories, log on to bbc.co.uk slash news. This is Roy Gervais and Lauren Daly for BBC News. Good night. Good night.